everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Revelations chapter two, verses four through five. They read as follows. But I have this against you. You have abandoned your first love. Therefore, keep in mind how far you have fallen. Repent and perform the deeds you did at first. But if you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. I see the Christian walk as a day in the ocean sometimes. Let me explain. You head to the beach and you claim your spot, right? You put down all your gear, you claim your spot on the sand, and then you hightail it into the ocean. Everything is going great, you're having fun, you're splashing and wadding and playing, you're enjoying the waves and the wind and the sea, you're just enjoying the atmosphere, you're just loving all of it. It's just a great time. But without realizing it, you drift a little bit, and then a little bit, and then a little bit, and all the excitement and fun and enjoyment of the time and the wind and the waves and the sun and just the greatness of the ocean of the beach and all the fun you've had, you forgot to keep your eyes on the mark. You forgot to mark your marker, your gear on the beach. So you look up and all of a sudden you're a few hundred yards away from that marker or you look up and you just don't see it at all. You're completely lost. I see the Christian walk that way because we too, as followers of Christ, we too, if we don't keep our eyes on the mark, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Lord, we too can start to drift with all that life brings. And it may be very good. It may be family and friends and church and community and your job and all that may be good. But because we haven't kept our eyes on our marker, we start to drift a little bit and then a little and then a little bit more. But there is a way to keep our eyes on our mark even with everything else going on around us, and we read about it in our verse today. The Lord has given the Apostle John the revelation, and to the church of Ephesus, he gives a rebuke. He tells them that they have forsaken their first love, and they have fallen far away. That first love being the Lord Jesus Christ, and that fall being how far they've fallen away from him, from their walks with him. But he tells them how they can remedy it. He tells them to repent and to do the things they did at first. Basically, get back to the basics. So what are the basics of the Christian walk if we have drifted a little bit, if we've fallen away from them a little bit? Well, it might sound basic, no pun intended, but it really is getting back to the basics, principles, the basic tenets of our Christian walk. That includes reading our Bible every day, getting on a Bible reading app, or reading a chapter or two a day that keeps us connected to God and is usually a way he speaks to us. This includes praying every day for ourselves and our circumstances, but also for others. Prayer is a form of humility. We are asking the Lord for his help. We are showing our need and our dependence on him and asking for his presence in our lives. It is going to church, not forsaking the assembly of the righteous as the Bible notes and being around other believers because that makes us better. We really are better together. We are stronger and we learn from each other when we're together. That's fasting here and there because that fasting crucifies our flesh and keeps our spirits yielded to the Lord. That's obeying the Lord when he prompts us to do something or tells us to do a certain thing, which honestly keeps us out of trouble, but it also shows the Lord that we love him because we obey him. We all drift from time to time, but if we would just circle back to the basics, re-upping our time with the Lord, spending time with him, loving on him, learning from him in his word, in prayer, in fasting, in time with him, we would most likely be less likely to drift and more likely to stay on the course that he has laid out for us to stay on our mark. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, God, for the reminder to just get back to the basics, Lord. Every now and then, we just sort of need to reset. We need to get back to the basic principles of our faith, Lord, reading our word every day and getting to know you through the word, praying about everything, God, being grateful for all that you've given us, Lord, all that you've done in our lives, obeying you, God, fasting when you lead us to fast, Lord, just spending time with other believers, Lord, being in church, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the reminder to just get back to the basics, to get back to you, God, to stay close to you, to stay on our mark with you. Help us, Lord, in areas where we are weak. Shine those lights, Lord, in those areas and show us how to come up higher, God. And we love you and we give you the glory, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would love to have you and I would appreciate it, guys. God bless you so much. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and have a great day.